What you see is a graph of the dual mandate bullseye put out by the Chicago Federal Reserve, where on the y-axis, it indicates the annual inflation rate. The dual mandate came out in the amended Federal Reserve Act of 1977, where the dual mandate was is to create stable prices. And the Federal Reserve has stated that stable prices should be at or around the federal target inflation rate of 2% shown on the y-axis that indicates the PCE annual inflation rate. The PCE is the Federal Reserve's look at inflation, which is the personal consumption expenditure annual inflation rate. On the y-axis is the unemployment rate. And in the dual mandate, the Federal Reserve is required to try to achieve what's called maximum employment. And maximum employment in 2020 is considered to be an unemployment rate of 4.5%. That means there is no cyclical unemployment. There is only structural and frictional unemployment, which we'll get to in a later short lecture. Where this bullseye is, this is called the natural rate of unemployment, or which is now called the non-cyclical rate of unemployment. So that at that bullseye point, that ideal point of 2% inflation and 4.5% unemployment, there is no cyclical unemployment. Now, we'll get into this natural rate of unemployment, which only includes structural and frictional unemployment in a later short lecture. But as you can tell, in 1977, this bullseye was at 6.2%. That was considered to be maximum employment or full employment. Over time, this bullseye keeps moving to the left where the natural rate of unemployment or the non-cyclical rate of unemployment in 2020 is now 4.5%. And as you can tell, by 2031, maximum employment will be considered to be 4.2%. As you can tell to the right of the graph, we have a table for the years 2013 to 2023. We're going to start with the Trump administration in 2017 to see how well they perform on this interactive, dart-throwing, dual-mandate bullseye that I put together. Let's start with the Trump administration. In January of 2017, so for that year, the unemployment rate was 4.4%, and the inflation rate is 1.79%. Let's see how close I got to getting this number correct. We'll go ahead and throw a dart. So as you can tell, the very first year of the Trump administration, the economy was near ideal. Let's look at 2018. The unemployment rate was 3.9%, which means it beats the long-run unemployment rate of 4.5. This means that the economy went beyond full employment and the inflation rate of 2.1%. Three. Let's see how close I came when throwing the dart. So again, near ideal. Let's look at 2019. We had an unemployment rate of 3.7, which beats the unemployment rate of 4.5. We call this beyond full employment and an inflation rate of 1.49. So let me go straight up to from there. And let's throw the dart. As you can tell, during those three years of Trump's presidency, we were close to what's considered to be full employment and the federal target inflation rate of around 2%. 2020 was an anomaly. This is where COVID-19 broke out in the United States starting basically at the beginning of February of 2020. Let's see what happened in 2020 during the COVID-19 pandemic.
Unemployment that year was 8.1% and inflation was 1.18%. Let's go ahead and throw a dart. Now, again, this was an anomaly. It was the worldwide pandemic. Things changed drastically. President Trump starts warp speed, starts to get the vaccinations out. The Biden-Harris administration takes office in January of 2021. The unemployment rate is 5.4%, which means we are below full employment that the unemployment rate is too great. And the inflation rate was 4.17%. Let's go up to 4.17 and let's throw a dart. Notice that we're not even close at this point, you know, trying to get through this pandemic and so forth. We're not close to the dual mandate. By 2022, the unemployment rate goes to 3.6%, which means we now are beyond full employment and the inflation rate skyrockets to 6.46% for the year. Let's throw a dart. As you can tell, the dart is off the chart. By 2023, the unemployment rate is 3.6% again, and the inflation rate had come down to 3.75, and let's go ahead and throw a dart. And as you can tell, when looking at the years that Trump was president, rather than when the Biden-Harris administration was in office, Trump's administration did far better at keeping us close to this dual mandate presented by Congress in 1977, other than that anomaly year of 2020.